Hello again, Power Apps Makers. This is Ahmed Saleh again, and today we are talking about the column security profiles in Dataverse. Let's hop in and talk about this table here. So in this table, we have uh, four columns. Uh, this is an employee shifts table where the employees send a request to work in a certain uh, place or in a certain status, either remotely or on travel or on site or hybrid. And then this request get to be approved or denied by their manager. And uh, from there, the HR, maybe they can check the information. Maybe they can only see uh, whether or not it's been approved or denied uh, for the request. Maybe we'll have other sensitive columns that needed to be only accessed by certain people. And on our mobile driven apps, uh, we will have to build that form to basically uh, show certain columns in certain sections. Uh, but some of these information need to be blocked or maybe only certain employees with certain kind of status can actually access uh, the information or uh, edit the information. And in this case, it's going to be, for example, the managers get to approve or deny a request. So the first thing that when you create a column in the table to make sure that you will be able to use the security profile feature uh, is uh, to check that column. So we're gonna go to the property of this column and it's here we have our column. Uh, we will go and check this is our approval status and this is the column that we would like to secure. So if you scroll down in the properties of this column, you can see that under general, you have enable column security. So you have to enable the column security. That's number one. The second thing that you have to do is you have to go to the admin center of your environment. And then over there, we will create the profile, our specific profile that we would like to uh, give uh, certain users or teams uh, access to. So we're going to go to our admin center. In our admin center, we will go to our environments. And then I will go to my environment. In this case, it's my Ahmed Saleh environment. And here you will have to go to settings. And in settings, you will go to the users plus permissions menu right here and you can see that there is column security profiles so you click on this and this is the the modern way to do this we used to do this in the dynamic uh, 365 classic uh, interface so i'm gonna go ahead and create a new profile and this profile i will just call it very specific to our use case so i'm gonna call it employee shifts managers and I will go ahead and hit save. So now I have my employee manager, uh, my employee shifts manager profile. I will come here and you can see that here we will see actually all the columns in my Dataverse that we have enabled the security, managed by security or the security profile that we just did, right? And one of them is this approval status right here, as you can see. And it also actually tell you the table that this employee exists in. And it will give you actually the permissions, as you can see, is to read not allowed, update not allowed, and create not allowed. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and edit the permissions. And I will make it allowed to read, allowed to update, and allowed to create. And then I will go ahead and save. So that's mean whoever we will add to this uh, profile column profile they will be able to read update and create anyone that is not part of this profile they will not be able to read or update or create you might have another profile that basically uh, they will allow certain users just to read so you will create that profile and maybe this is going to be those who are from human resource department so they can only read right uh, and then they cannot update and they cannot create, for example. So, uh, and that's it. So the next step is what we will have to do is, is actually go in and add the users, right? So we have to add users. So we're going to click here to add users to this profile. 
and remember that I'm here I have selected the employee shift managers uh, profile and then I'm gonna go ahead and add profile so I'm gonna add one user here now let's add uh, Mrs. Bantz I have added her and she's the only one will have that profile uh, or belong to that profile at this time and that's it nothing else I have to do here now going back to our uh, table so I'm gonna go ahead to my table forms and I will go to my main form and let's actually add some columns that are uh, going to be related to our use case so the first thing I would like to hide this column which is the owner column so I want to just hide this uh, column right here uh, we don't want to show it and then or this field and then I will add uh, a, another field so I will add for example the email uh, and I will add the shift and I will add the change start date then I would like actually to add another uh, in this case I would like to add another section so basically I would add like one column tab yeah, let's just click this here right here and then let's bring this here and then we have this new tab let's actually delete this tab right here and then in this tab I will just change the name for example to manager I, I have made another video before that how you can actually show certain tab based on the user right so certain users can actually see certain tabs uh, using JavaScript but now in this one it's a lot easier so you can still have the tab right there right but uh, you can actually control what is being seen in in this area here right here other thing you can do also is using the form security so you can have multiple forms and you can assign a security law to a certain form so people when they actually sign in into your app modern driven app that using the form they can only see the form that uh, is assigned to their security role right so that's the form they can see so here we're gonna go ahead and add the approval status right and uh, we can just go ahead and change the section here uh, and just call it restricted and let's see actually what we're gonna this is everything so I'm gonna go ahead and save and publish this and we will go ahead and do the same thing for the view so we also gonna make sure that we have the columns on the view so we can see when actually miss Vance sign in as a manager to this power app through this model driven app what she can access and we're gonna use another user who is not part of that profile to see what they can see and access as well going back to our table I'm gonna go to my table again and at this time I will go to the views and in the views we're gonna have the active employee shift view and here you can see that we have the created on column and the full name I don't need the created on so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the created on I will add the email I will add the shift I will add the change start date and I will add the approval status and then I will go ahead save and publish the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and create new model driven app so we're gonna go ahead and click on new app and then model driven app we will call this employees shifts management app and click create here we're gonna go ahead and add a page it's gonna be a dataverse table I will click next I will use an existing table so we will use our employee shifts table I will show it in the navigation and here as you can see we have the view if we actually click on any of these records we have our form so we have the manager and then we have the general uh, tab right and this is obviously because I'm a system admin and I'm building the app so 
it's obviously I can see everything at this point so let's go ahead and publish the app and I'm gonna go back again and in this case I will go ahead and share my app with the users so I will click share and this app is already shared because she's a system admin so it's already been shared with her so this is the app and we have those are the users that are part of this app it's actually play and then I will just copy the link and I will change the profile to Mrs. Vance and I will go ahead and paste the link right here perfect so we can actually see that she has access first of all to the view so she can see the information on the column that call approved status if she checked a certain table and went to manager also she can actually see the information and she can also actually change the information right here um, on this form so this time I'm gonna share it with another employee we're gonna share it with Diego and let's see what we will see through Diego account when we access the form so click share I'm gonna go ahead and paste his email select and then here the security roles we will have to give him security role we have to give him security role in the environment first so we have to give him security role in our dataverse so we have to go back in our dataverse and I will go back to my settings I will go back to my users and here I'm gonna search for Diego it's not there so I'm gonna go ahead and add Diego to my environment and here now we're gonna go ahead and assign uh, Diego our new user I will assign him a basic user role as well as a system customizer uh, you can see here and after that we will just go ahead and open the app through him and see what he can access so I'm gonna go ahead and open his account I have the app here I'm gonna hit refresh and you can see the first things he does not see the approval status at this point right also if he tried to go and check any of these records he can see all these other columns and data but if we go to the managers he cannot see any of this information because he doesn't have a read access uh, that we uh, assign for that special special column security profile that it was only assigned to uh, mrs. Vance which is here we can see the difference between her account and his account so if we go back here she can actually see the approved status she can also go ahead and actually change the values right here while actually Diego does not have any read or uh, write uh, access uh, to this specific column that we have uh, added a managed security role for I hope that you enjoyed this quick tutorial if you have any questions or comments please comment below and send me your feedback uh, if you like it please like and subscribe and share this around so we can get it to most people to use it and I will see you in the next tutorial